did you enjoy the kind of prominent leadership role you had with Leicester last season and are you looking forward to kind of taking that on again? Yeah, it was good fun. I enjoyed it. I, um, you know, I was standing and it was, it was nice and, and you, know, you, you then sort of surround yourself with people that have a lot of knowledge about it. Spoke to Jordan Murphy a lot, who's now obviously gone into the coaching side of things. You speak to the senior players, you, you ask their opinions and, and, and you do it all the time anyway, but I think actually there's, there's, a, there's, there's more weight to it because you need to know how that guy's feeling and actually then you need to be able to construct a sort of thoughtful uh, analysis of what we need to say before the game and then beyond the game and, and what the standards are. And, and, and I think the nice thing in, in Leicester, although I had walked out in front with the guys, it didn't really mean anything. You know, we had six lines there. We had guys with you know, hundreds of caps between them. They look after themselves. It's just about managing the small bits in the game and making sure that everyone's on it. But it's easy because you've got such quality guys around you. We speak a lot about um, kind of getting club form right in order to impress for England. Um, what can you say about how Matthew Tate conducted himself last year? Obviously, it was in storming form and has now been rewarded with involvement in the Saxons um, squad. Yeah, I know he finished the season um, as well as I've seen anyone finish the season. He's easily the most naturally gifted rugby player I've ever played with um, by a long, long way. Uh, he's his own worst enemy at times. He, he, he sometimes overthinks things, but but that's Tatey and you wouldn't change him for the world and yeah ever since I've been sort of well I'm older than him um, but certainly in the early parts of my career I felt very much younger and very much junior to him in terms of what his success was and how good he was um, and he does seem to be becoming the old Matt Tate and I think that semi-final that final the glimpses that he showed there of the world-class talent that I believe he is it's uh, it's great to see him back.